today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I get my full, long, texturized beachy waves. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I clip in my extensions, what products I use, and exactly how I do it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so my hair right here is one day old. So I did beachy waves yesterday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by brushing out my hair just to make sure there's no tangles and no knots or anything in it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush out my extensions. So these extensions right here are the Hair Shop 16 inch extensions. These are my absolute favorite, favorite extensions. So now I'm gonna add the first section of hair. And the way that I like to section off my hair, it's really different for everybody. I've had professionals put extensions in my hair and I don't like the way that they place the clips. It's really uncomfortable on my head. So I've kind of figured out like a pattern that's really comfortable for me. So I just like to do it right above my ears and then part it all the way across my uh, head. And before I actually clip in the extensions, I'm gonna spray on some of this volumizing dry shampoo. This is from Big Sexy Hair. This stuff is technically a dry shampoo, but for me, it actually makes my hair feel dirtier and grittier. That's why I like to use it because my hair is so fine. It's very silky and the actual clip-ins have nothing to clip into unless I add product to my natural hair. And then I take a teasing comb and just add a really light tease to the root of my hair. Just that way the clip-ins have something to clip into. And then this is the largest clip-in that I have. This is a four clip weft, I believe it's called. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that and clip it in along the part that I just created. So I'm gonna take a one and a half inch section and then just wrap it around the wand. This is a Numi curling iron. This is the 35 millimeter barrel, the largest barrel that I have. So I am just wrapping it away from my face and I leave about a two inch section at the bottom of my hair straight. So I curled that one away from my face and then I just alternate. So the next one, I'm gonna curl it towards my face. And this will really help to give the illusion of really messy hair because you're gonna have waves going in each direction. So I'm just gonna keep curling my hair in opposite directions in, looks like these are like two inch sections on the lower section of my hair. So I'm just gonna keep curling my hair in uh, one and a half to two inch chunks, alternating ways that I curl it. So one way forward and then one way backward. All right, so once we're done curling the lower section of hair, I'm gonna go ahead and section off uh, the next piece. So I'd like to go only like about a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch higher than the section that we just did. And I'm gonna go ahead and part it off, tie up the hair on the top of my head, and then do the teasing one more time. And then we're gonna go ahead and clip in the next piece, which is a three clip weft, um, right in the center of the back of my head. And then I just go ahead and curl in one inch sections, just like we did on the lower section of my hair, alternating between each curl, curling one section forward and then one section backward. One time I tried to eat a sandwich while I was doing beach waves in my hair and it did not work very well. I get so hungry, because usually this is like right after I do my makeup, you know? I'm just ready, to, I'm just ready to be ready to go, but then it's like, oh my God, I still gotta do my hair. So now we're done with that section of hair, I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair one more time and we're only gonna add in two more clips of extensions. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, spray some volumizing spray and then do a little teasing. So here I'm gonna be clipping in a two clip weft on each side of my head. And I like to keep the front clip behind my ear just because I have a lot of layers in the front of my hair. And if I all of a sudden have this like long, thick blonde hair popping out in front of my ear, it just doesn't really look that good, so that's why I like to keep the extensions a little further back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Just curl in one to two inch sections, alternating directions, forward and backward, all the way around my head.
All right, now we're ready to move on to the top section of hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take all my hair out. So what I like to do if I'm on like day two or three of my hair, I just take a round brush and a blow dryer and just kind of do a little uh, round brushing like in the back of my head because I get insane calyx, like it looks ridiculous. So I do that in the back of my head. Just before I curl it, I feel like it just helps to zhuzh it up a little bit and kind of revive it and make it not like glued to my head. So I do that in the back section of my hair and then I do it up in the front section of my hair just in case I have like weird calyx going on in the front of my hair too, which I usually do. And then in the back of my head, just because I do get the Grand Canyon calyx that I do, I do a little bit of teasing just in the back section of the hair. Nothing huge, no buffons or anything, just a little quick tease. So now we're kind of in the home stretch here. So I'm just gonna keep doing the curling of the hair forward and backward. When I get to the top sections of my hair, I tend to grab smaller chunks just because I like it to look really wavy on the top. Totally up to you. You can still grab the same size, like two inch sections of hair, but I like to use smaller ones. And then if my hair is really flat, I will give the sides a little bit of a tease. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing the curling back and forth, back and forth, all the way around, like so. All right, so for this section of hair, I feel like this is the most important section, how the curl frames your face. So I like to grab the wand and wrap it like curling so far away from my face. And I only hold my hair on the wand for like a second. I just wanna get a really quick wave in the hair, not trying to do the most with this one. I just want it to like, me personally, I like when my curls go away from my face because I don't like having hair in my face. All right, so now we are finally done curling the hair and now we're gonna start zhuzhing it up so what I like to do after you let your curls sit for like five to ten minutes just that way they cool down I like to just stick my chicken claw hands in my hair and I just start separating it so I just like to grab my hair and kind of pull it apart and just separate the curls so that way it's a little bit more PC and then I like to spray some of the bumble and bumble this is the dry spun texturizing spray this one is really great if you have fine hair like I do and you just want to add some texture maybe add a little bit of volume you can spray this directly into your roots and kind of push your hair up. And then you can also spray it into the ends of your hair and kind of push your hair upward using these motions right here just to give it a little bit more volume in the ends of your hair. All right, so that wraps up this tutorial for my really full beachy mermaid hair with extensions. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Another one.